All right, right, welcome back everybody to YouTube channel BTC TV and we continue to do videos about different blockchain projects, about different NFT space as well arts and today I'm happy to present you special exclusive interview with Tommy Hollenstein on the line is right now with his team with uh, also on the line with us is Abraham Gomez so thanks guys to coming to our TV show thanks for joining us and uh, first question can you kindly introduce yourself and what you are doing yeah I'll, I'll get started so um, yeah I'm a, I've been in the crypto space for nine years um, I'm an angel and seed investor my company also provides services for investments and clients um, like design development smart contracts marketing and community management um, and uh, yeah that's kind of my background uh, Tommy I'm Tommy I'm the artist I've, I've been painting for over 20 years now mm -hmm. creating art galleries and museums and uh, all over the country all over the world excellent yep. Excellent. Tommy, now, uh, you are coming right now with the special NFT project from uh, from you, actually, with your arts. Why you decided to go to that space? I mean, why you decided to go with this nowadays technologies? Well, to take the challenge, to be honest. Yeah. I, I paint with a very unique style. I paint with the tires in my wheelchair. So that okay. I'm creating an actual 20-foot by 400-foot painting so that I can come up with 10,000 separate pieces. So just the challenge of doing a 20 foot by 400 painting, foot painting, physical, I mean, it was just a, a dream, you know, it was a challenge that I wanted to take on. And you know, I made beautiful art and I was, you know, it's a way to get it out to the masses. space, you know, and, and to raise money for charity, you know, frankly, to help out about the, the Dream Center here. Yep. I see, excellent. And uh, can you kindly, Abraham, tell us a little bit more about this project? Because this NFT collection is coming, as, a, as already Tommy mentioned, with so big piece of art. So can you a little bit tell us more about this one? Yeah, so, yeah, it's 20 by 400 feet. Um, it's been, we've been working on it since December. Mm -hmm. So we're going on four months now. And uh, we've had contributors, great contributors, uh, mm -hmm. friends of Tommy's. Um, and uh, we're also videotaping it. So we have a production crew that okay. is shooting a documentary, which we're really, really excited about. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a lot of people. So we have roughly around 40 plus people contributing to the project. Um, that basically consists of setup, um, movement of pieces, um, storing of pieces, uh, the digital stuff that we do, um, the video production team, uh, I mean, there's a lot of logistical things that, that go into this large of a piece. Um, and then Tommy's been focused on the art. I'd love for Tommy to talk about um, who's contributed and um, how the art piece actually works and is connected. Yes, uh, it's a total of 1,000 boards that are 24 inches by 48 inches. I paint on masonite board. I paint on a hard surface so that the tires don't tear the canvas up. And so I can also have a, a you know, maneuverability so I can slide the tires, I can drift with the tires, I can really create different strokes with the tires in my chair. Uh, wow. Something that you've ever seen. And then there are quite a few contributors that, that have helped come out and participate during the day. Uh, buddy named Risk, uh, he's a well-known graffiti artist. He's come out, uh, my buddy Jose is the drummer for Incubus. He's an artist as well. He's come out and participated. Ringo Starr came out one day and uh, we helped uh, do a four color piece together on, on top of the painting that I've created uh, with the tires of the chair. I see. Yeah. Uh, and because uh, to make such uh, so much collection in so small period of time is really a lot of work, really hard work, yeah. right? Can you tell me a little bit like really how much time you're spending per day like on doing this one? Because I think it's really a lot of work. Yeah. So, I mean, our team works uh, every day. So we work um, it, it, like literally every day, Monday through Sunday or Sunday through Saturday. <laughs> Um, and um, we work, I'd say we probably average 12 hours a day, wow. but we work between 8 and maybe 18 hours, depending on the day. And Tommy's working, uh, you know, 8 to 10 hour painting days, yeah. uh, four times. Um, if you want to touch more on yeah, that. Yeah, I've been coming in four days a week, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Today is actually Thursday, so I'm coming in today as well. But yeah, in order, you know, I, I mean, I, I'm there full time. I mean, I'm. You know, I started off with four colors on the first 100 boards, and I went to five colors on the next 100, six colors. 
Today I'll be completing 13 different colors uh, on the last 100 boards. But they're all connected because I do take the last row after I complete 100 boards and move to the front of the, and I add another 100 boards. So then, so if the first room had like, so like I said, four colors, the next room was five colors. And so they're all connected. So it will be one continuous piece when we were to lay it. We're going to lay it out for a big photograph. And it's longer than a football field. So yep. you get a little bit of you know, perception on it. That's yep. insane. Okay, cool. Now let's go back uh, to your NFT collection. Because like, uh, can you tell us when it is going to be starting that people will yeah. be able to participate and finally to grab your piece of art right to book uh, their place in this project yeah yeah so we have an auction march 10th mm -hmm. um, 4 p.m pst okay um we are gonna the we're actually right after this call we have a good morning america interview wow. um and that's gonna air later in the month so after the good morning america um interview airs we're going to launch the public sale um, so March 10th is the auction, and then later in the month or early April is when um, the public sale will happen. Okay, cool. And so far, because you already started to gather community around this project, how was the reaction uh, from community about this one? Everyone loves it. Um, so one of the great things about it is, like, Tommy is a phenomenal human being. And so if you own the digital piece, you can redeem the physical piece by meeting Tommy in Los Angeles or at a museum. And um, when you redeem your piece, he'll sign it. So that's really, really cool. People love that aspect. It's very different than what's being done in the NFT uh, world right now. Um, but Tommy, what, what's been the reception for you? It's been a great reception so far. I mean, everybody's come out and enjoyed it. I mean, it's getting good good reviews on the Clubhouse and different uh, other podcasts that we've been on. So it's, cool. it's been great so far. Cool. Now, uh, maybe my last question, because I know you're really super busy. Thanks for really for joining us. M but my last question will be like, what is like maybe your vision, Tommy, about NFT in the future for artists? Because right now, not so many even uh, like nowadays artists are using NFT technologies. But in your opinion, what do you think about this one uh, technology? I think technology is amazing. I mean, it's, you know, it's especially like, I, even after I do this big project, all my physical paintings that I create from now on will all have an NFT to go with it just for the trackability, you know, cert certificate of authenticity mm -hmm. cannot be duplicated. There's no way it could be, you know, there's no frauds out there. There's, I mean, it will be forever tracked for the rest of my life and the estate going on forward. Yeah. And um, yeah, for me, I like view, so NFTs are the first time that artists can receive royalties. So when you think of movies and musicians, uh, mm -hmm. they've always been able to receive royalties, but artists have not. Yeah. Um, so fundamentally, it's a great change. Uh, but I view NFTs as the building blocks of the metaverse. So when you view or think of the metaverse, everything in that world is an NFT. Uh, so it's a great space to be in. I'm really excited for artists like Tommy to have this technology to leverage its, um, its, uh, you know, its, its positive sides. Um, and yeah, it's very, very exciting. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot uh, for coming to our TV show. Uh, I'm wishing you good luck with your project, that you will be really successful with it one. And um, before I'll finish, maybe you wanted to say something to our subscribers. I'll say one last thing. So this is the largest uh, fidgetal um, art piece that's ever been launched. So that's both physical and digital. Um, and we're really excited about that. You know, it's 20 by 400 feet. A lot of heart and soul and passion has gone into this art piece. Um, it's four months, thousands of hours. And uh, I think that, um, you know, one thing we didn't mention is 10% goes to the Dream Center. 10% is going to Ukraine. Uh, Tommy is going to utilize some of the funds to start his own nonprofit. Um, so we're really excited about all of that. Uh, Tommy, do you have anything you want to end it with? I just uh, thank you for the opportunity. I'm just you know, really excited to finish the project and put down the rest of the paint just so I can see the physical piece. <laughs> yes. All right. Thanks a lot. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, BTC TV, and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you again. Thank and you. Bye for now. Yeah.